Hello beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? How are you doing my darlings? Welcome to the Gifted Hermit, my name is Leela, I reside in London newbies, what's up to my subs, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to quickly talk about twin flames my darlings, it will only take a couple of minutes, three, four minutes, facts and symptoms, this is how you know you're going to be dealing with a twin flame and once I've done that, um, we'll move on to your tarot reading, okay? So be patient with me, but what's up, Capricorn? I hope you guys are good. Please remember to give me a like, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. Uh, yeah, let's jump into it. And anything else you need to know is probably in the description box, all right? Um, twin flames. Usually, how you know you're dealing with uh, a twin flame is based on a lot of things. Well, there's usually a sudden change when you have uh, com come into contact with your twin flame. You could already be with your twin flame Capricorn or you could have met them and not physically been with them or you could have walked past each other on the street. It could be someone that you met in a party, you know. But when once this contact has happened, there is a sudden change in both of you. You might not physically feel it. It might take some time, but that shift has definitely happened, right? That is most 100% a symptom of twin flame energy, Capricorn. You also have this distinct feeling that you know what the other person is doing, what they're getting up to, almost like what they're feeling, if they feel sad, if they feel happy, which is amazing. Everyone knows uh, very much about the number 1111, which is amazing. If you see it a lot, that uh, indicates that angels are trying to communicate with you that your twin flame energy is definitely around, you know. Um, you might also have past life memories of your twin flame. This is um, like even a sense of home, right? Flashbacks. And remember, uh, you might not have never met your twin flame before, yeah? So going back to dreams, 17.17 .17 right now on the dot. I'm going to go and look up what that number means. Um, yeah, you, you've got past life memories of them. You have dreamt of them. You get a feeling like a sense of home and safety. Uh, also... Uh, you have common interests and values, which is a, a lot of what people do in life anyway. We get drawn to people that have common interests and values as, of, as us. But when we're dealing with a twin flame, this is someone that could be the polar opposite of you. Someone that you completely not go for. Someone that you run a mile from. But you still have these common interests and values. There might also be um, a symptom where you've, there's a telepathic connection, right? This is the invisible thread which keeps you guys both bound to each other, no matter how far. You also bring out the best in them. They, they won't admit it, but going back to the change, you would see, you would see the change in them. They might not see it in their cells. You would see it before they see it in their cells and vice versa. When it comes to the eyes and eye, eye contact, when you look at your twin soul, if you get that far, if you get that, because remember, you know, some, some of us might not even meet our twin flame in this lifetime, but that's just one, that's just one negative side of it because it's mainly all positive, right? It's just a very deep journey and a hard journey to get to your twin flame. So, yeah, going back to the eye contact Capricorn, it's like once you look at your, your twin flame and you look into their eyes, it's like looking at yourself. It's the mirror to your soul. That is what it's like. When you see your twin flame and you look into each other's eyes, it's like looking into each other's souls, a reflection of your own soul, right? The lovemaking, if any of you very lucky enough to get with your twin flame and you make love someone get up in the sections in the comment sections and let us know about this astral love making it's even it's more advanced than the uh kumasatra if that's how you pronounce it you know what i mean 
it's it's oh so I've been told <laughs> another negative state um a, ne- a negative point perhaps uh Capricorn is that when it comes to t- twin flames and two individuals one of you are known as the runner and that's a stage where and it could be this lifetime or another lifetime where one seems to be running away from this clear connection the runner stage is vital for evolving this twin flame connection it's very frustrating when you're having to go through it and this is the person that's in denial and they know there's a connection there but they just run from it and then they you know go and get in toxic relationships and go on the warpath you know but just remember that the reunion of you two is eternal it will always happen it's inevitable you guys have known each other before right you know that feeling of safety you know that eye contact is is very intense you guys could feel you know have feelings of intimacy even without the sex Always remember that the the runner's behavior is very self-sabotaging and it's nothing to do with you. It's just them in that stage, right? They are in fear of unconditional love, Capricorn, and their inner child is still most probably hurting. The runner always says the opposite of how they feel. So yeah, that's me done talking about all the facts and symptoms covered as much as I could Capricorn let's go into your reading how you guys been how's Capricorn been let me know what's up with my Capricorns I've got Gemini shouting out you guys have always got Gemini in your spread let's see what happens right quick cut of the deck Capricorn. Wow. We start off with the Ten of Wands. This is something quite heavy, Capricorn. So I see there may be a struggle here. There may be a struggle here. Oh, the moon as well. This is this is secrets. This is a choice that needs to be made. Um, something sus- suppressive here. I see you lot wanting or needing to take a break. Having a break from something quite, su- you know, quite suppressive, quite uh, burdensome. Sometimes we really need to go deep into our minds, into our emotional well-being to, you know, see what it is that we need as individuals. What do you need, Capricorn? You need to retreat. You need to evaluate. You need to rest. You really need to take it easy, you know. Something's niggling in the back of your mind. Check that face on the moon there. Something deep down, you know. It's like, you know, a choice A choice needs to be made, my darlings. Remember Mercury's going into retrograde this week. So we try not to make any hasty decisions for the next three, 30 days or whatever. The chariot, it's a cancer energy. Um, this is full steam ahead maybe you've done it already Capricorn (laughs) you'd be like girl that's happened we've got the page of cups this is a message maybe some of you guys are going to get a message wow we've got the 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 twin flame card there and the knight of pentacles so this could be you Capricorn And this could be your other energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe right now you guys have got your back towards each other, as you can see there in the illustration. 
I do see like some sort of uh, offering here with the page of cups. This is, you know, this is light hearted energy. There may be an age gap between you guys here, right? And Capricorn, you're the older, um, the older lover. <laughs> this could be someone in your life as well. There's definitely some sort of uh, oh, a situation that's left you thinking, right, Capricorn, you know? And that's nice. That's the beginning of something, you know, more refreshing here. This is new beginnings, you know. The Ace of Pentacles, I think, you know, I think you're going to go into a direction and it could be back with your lover. But I feel like an into, into a direction where, you know, some of you might be getting a new job. You know, this is a new source of income for some of you, a reward. This is uh, perfect timing, something that's going to come at the perfect time. Rewards for your efforts. What you put in is what you get out of a situation. I definitely feel like Capricorn, um, a major the majority of you are dealing with your twin flame or a very intense situation here. Do let me know what this situation is here up here as well. Let's get some angel cards and we're going to wrap it up, my darlings. And I'll catch you in about a week's time. I can't remember if I did a reading for you on Monday. That's why I thought, okay, let's just do Capricorn because, you know, you came to mind. Give us an angel card, please, for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn, please. Okay, we've got three cards there. Aquarius. Aquarius always comes out on you guys' card. This is, uh, this is hope. Hope, you know. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation, which is fantastic. Because of the Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's very much amplified. That, you know, it's written in the stars. This is this is hopeful for tomorrow. Hopeful that everything's going to be all right. This is inspirational. This is believing in yourself, you know, as you see it there, believing in yourself. We've got the King of Pentacles. We had the Knight of Pentacles followed by the King of Pentacles. This is gearing up Capricorn again, which is amazing. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely fantastic yeah stability you know accomplished powerful amazing wow ten of cups a situation has ended and you are finally free okay wow look at squirrel i gave him how many nuts look at this look at this thing here <laughs> you need to go away the squirrels are bullies honestly He's eaten so much. Go away. A situation has ended and you're finally free, Capricorn. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. That, what a way to wrap up this reading. I think that was amazing. Capricorn, I love you guys. Please remember to give me a like, share, subscribe. Don't remember. Don't remember. Honestly, Mercury Retrograde really hits me hard. Um, please remember to um, hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on another video okay and thank you for joining me on the journey take care capricorn Mwah.